all right uh, welcome to the video this is part four of this uh, video maybe perhaps the last one maybe and in this video what we are going to learn is we're going to mock the get request and the json data and the response so we're going to write the test function to test the request or the api api uh, functions that we write in python you know which which gives basically the, the json data right so we're going to write uh, the 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 function the test function and all of that so let's get started without me wasting much of time um, so first of all i'm going to write a function which is going <coughs> to gold uh, i'm going to say gold data so basically you know i'm just going to write a function which is going to return me the gold rates from the internet all right so why am i not able to type anything all right so there we go so first of all we need to do is import now request now i already have written my uh, code for that so just i can focus on the test function so to save time and not to make this video too lengthy so this is a function the header and basically i just call the get method to get the data so essentially if i try to run it to show you uh, that this works um, that's the code so i'm gonna say obj gold create an object print obj and if i say get uh, essentially it's gonna fetch the data back i mean first of all it's gonna give me a response which is gonna be 200 now, now if i say dot get dot text so let's see so you see we have the text response we can say json and have the json response all right um that's good um now let us write a test function for that so pretty easy not that difficult at all so the the name should start with the test and the name of the file so underscore gold data right so we have this function right here so we need to write the mocking function right here so we're gonna import a couple of modules uh, so we're gonna say import uh, first of all, I need to import unit test as usual. Uh, make this font a little big. Right. So once we are done with the unit test, uh, we need to import from unit test uh, dot mock. And what do we need to import? We need to import patch because we're gonna mock that uh, response essentially. So if I just open my um, function here, here, you see if the response is okay, it ret returns that R otherwise it returns none and if there is any exception if it takes more than one second it's gonna say bad response so uh, that's what it does and um, we're gonna mock that so f so i need to import that file so first of all in order to do that is in my directory known as my mock json right so i can say from my mock json i'm gonna say oops import gold data right that's what essentially i need uh so th that's the name of the file that i need to import so this is essentially everything would be imported from this um now or instead of doing this i can a better way to do that is gold data import just the class we'll be very specific what we want okay so done with that okay beautiful so essentially what i'm gonna do is gonna write a test function now so test gold test gold uh, of course it's going to inherit from unit test dot test case usually so that's what we did in the last couple of uh, tutorials so once i'm done with that i'm uh, going to define a function define test underscore and then the name of the function uh, was gold remember if, um, so now here i'm going to refi define the fake json response fake underscore so this fake JSON is gonna be a list of dictionaries. So I'm gonna say SOML. All right. So that's what uh, my data looks like when I do, do a request. Now I need to um, make a patch module. So it's pretty simple with patch, and um, we need to provide the directory as usual. So I'm gonna say my. Oops my why what's going on or let me see my mom jason just gonna copy this you know 
mymockjson dot from that we want to import like request req u e oh no we want to import the first of all the file name right so the file name was gold uh, sorry it was gold data gold data that's the file name and from that we need to import the request as usual and do the get and i'm gonna call this as mock get mock underscore get all right so that's essentially zooming out a little bit so you can read it so once that is done what do we need to do is basically we need to define the status code uh, so first of all i'm gonna say uh, mock get uh, i'm gonna say dot return when the return return underscore value dot status underscore code um, yep yeah, dot status and support equal to so I'm saying that uh, when I make a response I'm expecting a response 200 so I'm mocking uh, 200 right now response 200 essentially then what I'm gonna do is I also want to mock the JSON data fake JSON data so I'm gonna say mock get dot return value remember the same thing and you want the return value as JSON and the JSON value should be what happened uh mock get dot return value dot json dot again return underscore value and we want this as our fake json fake json right so uh wait 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 wait, 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 wait. mock get oh why is it all right just want to make sure there are no indentation errors yep that's looks looks good perfect just gonna make sure it's fine right so after that what we need to do is we need to make the actual respect or uh, the risk um, what am i saying we need to make an actual um response to the to the api so we can we can create an object known as gold because my class name was gold essentially right here right here right so now just gonna call obj1 dot get obj i'm gonna say response obj dot get so i'm gonna call it i'm calling that uh, function there uh and if this re returns 200 that means we are good and um let's see what so we can say self dot assert equals right i'm gonna say response dot status code uh, so I, I i am expecting a status code of 200 if it's true it's gonna give me okay otherwise it's gonna fail the test so and i also want to check my json data um so self dot assert equals response dot json and i am my json da data would be a fake json which i already just defined here sawmill python so essentially this is my test function now to run that all right <laughs> all right and i can say just unit test all right so that's it and um, just give us space a little bit and um, try to run it so if i get a uh, all correct if all is everything goes perfectly i can see uh you get two dots and says run one test and we get okay so that means uh, our mock requ uh, request was successful and this is how you make a mock request to your api keys so that's it if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section and i would be very happy to answer all of that um, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next part